Hi, I'm Trivial Punk. This is Boris the Lizard. And Just this like is Squid. And we're playing Deadlight. When they stop moving, they die. The oh. people? That actually no, they died be That's and then they stop moving. Now. I hope. She's not even dead. Save yourself. Oh, it's a zombie. Oh, Whoa. it's a zombie game, guys. Oh. We found another zombie game. Hooray. <laughs> 145 days. Who's keeping track? I like the uh, <laughs> subtitle of that. The silence that make men crazy. I like that old guy in the background. This door's heavy. Why is anyone helping me? <laughs> She's gonna try to eat you all. You tell me what the fuck happened here. <laughs> Zombie. The rest of the world. She knew she shouldn't have gone outside. Yeah, it's been like 100 days. He's just like, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> it's been 145 days. You kept track, but no one is. Everyone's still surprised. What the hell have you done? We'd all be dead by now because of your little sister. Obligatory black man. How many times have we said not to separate? So let's see. Group? Zombie group. Never. So we got the old guy. Means we never. got the black guy. We got the woman who dies. Shot We've got the woman who stays. The hysterical woman. The hysterical woman, yeah. You talk about so Who's this guy? The the badass? Or we'll die right here. Yeah, he, he looks like the woodsman badass. Around here. It's a bit more than five miles west. Let's get out of here. Come on. <laughs> He's just my favorite. <laughs> I love how calm he is. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I found this ladder. I, I guess we can do something with that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna Stay point. The Shit. Get out of here. Uh, get so are we thing. safe or are we stuck down there? I've got to find my family. It's the only you... place they could have gone. What? Stay strong, Randy. You gave away your gun. You're the one on the floor. Yeah, uh, of all the people who need a gun, was not Shit. the beginning of anything. Thanks. The end of something. I needed the gun. <laughs> we just <laughs> ditched him. Cover him from the ceiling, at Didn't least. Like ah, fuck that guy. Oh the man. The world was dying, and we were its survivors. And then he just happened to be a tyrant from Resident Evil, and he beat the <laughs> shit out of all the zombies. I like how he's standing there waiting instead of running. All right. Speaking of running, <laughs> there goes that ladder. Uh, okay. So, um, Boris is playing. He's never played this game before. I have, which is why I'm not playing. Look um, at your leaping. I <laughs> the body is full of bites and bruises. Yeah, like how they capitalize bites and bruises, like it's like She's a bruise. I was running past the tutorial thing before they could get to me. <laughs> Jump. I like how they, they very kind. Like, why did we have to run? I mean, they're clearly not even through yet. Oh shit. Uh -huh. You put stuff in front of them. Well, oh, that sucks to be you, I guess. <laughs> Whee! Whee! I love how you walk Whee! like Donald the Duck. <laughs> the heel, from like the heel. Oh. The wood is rotten and the planks are weakened. Yeah. Do you ever notice how like easy it is to break into all these buildings and video Maybe games? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it, technically, it's pretty house. easy to break in any building. It's just that people are watching. But everyone's dead now. <laughs> Except those What's guys, that? they're kind of alive. Oh, that guy almost got me. Look at their spooky red eyes. <laughs> Someone left the flash on. In all the Pacific Northwest. Anybody alive must be trying to reach it. Oh, shit. Hey, look. Uh, they are in... A nondescript like, heavy thing. Is that a motor? Yeah, it's like an engine of some kind. Like an engine block of a thing. Perfect. The I'm glad someone me. left no! it here. No! <laughs> I think they're like, hey, a hole, let's go! <laughs> yeah! Oh, shit, no, I don't wanna... Uh, ah. He was like, well, maybe. Oh, it's a nice. really indecisive zombie. Oh, you should go check what's up there. I'm not saying, just saying. Go check what's over here, eh? Yeah. It's almost as if you've played this before. It's almost as if it's fucking not there anymore. Oh. Like, <laughs> maybe I if checked. you, Maybe when you pick it up the first time, it just goes away. Why don't we just stand by this hole and just slowly lure zombies <laughs> into it forever? That's my current plan. Yeah, Except that now you have to go down the hole. That's okay, I got a ladder. Okay. Well, I guess they didn't get a ladder. They just sort of smacked their heads and Yeah, died. they seem to uh, not be doing so well. Try to, yeah, I guess fall down on the ladder? Unless that white smoke? No, it's not. Alright, I'm assuming those are not going to get up since I can phase through them. They're, uh, ghosts. Ghost zombies. I need that to go the other way, don't I? 
<laughs> the only thing more terrifying than a zombie is a ghost zombie. And the only thing less harmful than a ghost is a ghost zombie. <laughs> you ever been bitten by a ghost? Does it fucking do anything? That's probably, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna get Jesus too much trouble. <laughs> they just sort of like wander near you and phase into your face. It's sort of disconcerting, but it's not really harmful. <laughs> just like, what the hell, man? Unless you're trying to sleep or something. I think over time it would probably drive you crazy, but I mean, that's you seemed, just <laughs> that seemed disproportionate that's, to what was necessary. Seems excessive. I understood tripping over barrels. I've done that, and I'm not undead. But having things like fall on your body. <laughs> I was gonna say on head. Entire you. Yes. <laughs> that was big enough for all of the person. Whee. There are a lot of people like alive in this city, and the zombies are so well spread out. It's strange. Yeah, it's a pretty good distribution going on. Yeah. Like usually, like zombies disperse by brownie emotion if there's no people around. This whole town is infested with people. And populated by the undead. There we go. Oh my god, I have a sprint key. It's never a nice day out during the zombie apocalypse. It's always like <laughs> really gray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the burning cities and like the ash of children's toys. Ben and the others made it out. The world's just like, oh, fine. You guys oh, are all upset. I am too. There they go. Now I know they don't tell you this in the tutorial, but don't step in the electricity. I believe this is the uh, tutorialization of that idea. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a better one. But uh, I think it might be funny just to have someone tell you don't fucking step in the electricity on the tutorial, but that's way Did more I just, clever. Like, kick the shit out of that power box? Yeah, no, it's fine. That's You're an electrician. It's okay. It seems like a waste of power. It, there's, an ancient, there's an ancient group of monks that live in the hills that actually practice that particular form of electrician work. Mm. You know, thingy. Oh, you tackle them. Excellent. People who make video games have a disproportionate understanding of the strength of the human body. <laughs> Not even that, but like the frequency of maintenance tunnels the yeah. and their dimensions. It's a straight shot to the safe <laughs> this, this is the entire. This is like an underground yeah, city under now. the normal city, which I guess makes sense because it is kind of like catacombed everywhere. But this seems like they wouldn't build this. Where does that big pipe go? Where does it come from? This is people walking here, right? So where do these big pipes Dead take pink. water to? It says right there. The inferno the begins here. here. Oh, so they're uh -huh. waiting to put it out. This is like a this is like a fire system. Randall can not swim. Perfect. Yeah. He can parkour off of a building like a champ, but you put him in some water, he's fucked. He's like no man. <laughs> I've had some bad, bad experiences. <laughs> this kid this it's is like, what happened to the limbo kid when he grew up. I hate to see <laughs> He's just got a deep-seated fear of water. That makes sense. I was gonna say, I, I, I would hate to see what made him afraid of water if if he could parkour around and be fine, but no, this totally makes sense. It's probably just something small. His like brother <laughs> threw him in a lake and his like leg got caught on some seaweed and he just started <laughs> screaming and screaming. It is that stupid though, isn't it? Like, you'll like grow up with like lifelong fears because like one time you tripped over a scone or something. It's ridiculous. Scones? <laughs> uh, no, I'm afraid, I'm, I'm afraid of ferns for the rest of my life. Does that make sense? No. Is any of it? You're afraid of balloons. Fuck off. Do you guys have anything that you're afraid of that's like, doesn't make any sense to anybody else? Just spiders. That's normal. Lots no, well, see, normal. I think that, but I tell everyone, like, you're afraid of spiders? The Boris? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not kind to the spider boy. There's spider. a whole Silent Hill 5 episode about spiders. Pretty much, yeah. That's... We just did the episode. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even about the game <laughs> at all. Like it was just us playing the game and us talking about spiders, which is totally fine. I'm pretty sure they could get over that if they were like intelligent or trying. zombies. They were trying. They're just like they just don't want a bad. Come enough. on, man. Just like you get back here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, young man, I'm not finished with you. I, I'm talking. Perfect. First death. First death of the game. Press any button or key to reload. At least zombies didn't get me. At least zombies didn't get me. I always think that'd be the shittiest thing. Like, 
Like, the zombie apocalypse happens and you die because you fall off something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, like <laughs> something else gets you. <laughs> exactly. Like, the world's about to blow up and you choke on an ice cream cone. Didn't that happen in, like, World War Z? Where, like, I, like, the doctor was, like, running up the ramp of the helicopter and he, like, Oh, yeah, 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 the, the movie. The and, like, movie, yeah. Smashed his head open and died. Oh, I was. Oh, I hate that movie. I, I haven't seen it. I haven't, I haven't watched it. It's not a zombie it's not a zombie movie. movie. Uh, it has zombies in it, but it's not like the way you think of a zombie movie is like a psychological exploration of people trapped within an environment forced yeah. to deal with each other. It's about Brad Pitt running around the world looking for bad plot points to convince people that no, he totally has to be here. A snapshot of what we become. And then he, by the end of the movie, he like solves the problem. <laughs> but like, that the book was like amazing. Yeah, the the book was amazing, but like for some reason in the movie they kept like everyone was like, "Oh man, no, you have this like thing. You you totally got this mission." And if you think about it, he has no idea what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> he's just sort of like running around looking for stuff. Um, but they did They they do they did this thing that they do in a lot of shows. Um, it's like relative it is basically like relativity and it's like a, a concept they apply constantly like if you want to put like a really smart guy like Sherlock Holmes in something, um, because writers can't write a person that's more intelligent than they are most of the time, unless yeah. it's like research based, um, they've got to make everyone else just a little bit dumber, so that he seems brilliant by comparison, by coming up with an idea that's clever, but not like 276 genius IQ level clever, you know? Yeah. And <laughs> and they kind of did that with World War Z because the first guy's idea was stupid. It was really, really dumb. They're like, let's find patient zero in Africa somewhere or something. And you're like, dude, you couldn't find him if it wasn't the zombie apocalypse. You're not going to find the guy. I feel like and I then Brad Pitt has a better idea. Let's go find the researchers who were studying this. And then everyone's like, whoa, man. I found a firefighter's axe. And that's what they do. That's the whole thing. Perfect. It's so weird how they did that, though, because the book was like a bunch of different stories. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Well, they were, the book was fantastic. The problem with that is that they were trying to solve a problem that I don't know if it actually is a problem, but it's a problem the way the studio sees it, is they want to personalize every movie so that they can sort of like centralize it around a point, because like a bunch of dispersed stories is really good for a book, but it's not like a narrative for a movie. Yeah, no time And so waste. like... They're like, well, let's see if we can link all this into Brad Pitt and do some of the scenes, like the Israeli wall and stuff, but it's it's a good movie. Uh, they use a lot of, like, they, they respect the material, like the zombies are really well done. Um, like, they do a lot of practical special effects, and they only use digital when they have to. The story isn't terrible, it's a little bit contrived. It's worth watching. Um, I, that's all about all I have to say about it. Uh, <laughs> It's on Netflix, I think, so it's worth watching on Netflix. That's I right. seen like I seen the trailer of it. I, I actually only seen it once, and all I remember was zombies pouring around like water. Yeah, that's that's like the, those are the best parts of the film. And and like there's some really cool scenes where like, because Brad Pitt's a good actor. I mean, he's no slouch, and so like there are scenes where he's like trying to like sneak up on a zombie or something and it's sort of tense and neat and stuff but there's some silly ones too like the guy when he slips it hits his head on the thing and yeah dies. but i mean that's kind of like a neat irony in a way especially since he was the doctor yeah and you're never expecting that to happen in a movie right yeah like you're always like oh there's gonna be a reason he dies no sometimes you just die because you slip and you're dumb all right, let's get back to the game. Um, yeah, right now I'm just... <laughs> Deadlight, World War Z. Um, so we've got a fire axe now. Yes. And sort of beating on this one zombie. I've been working on the zombie. Do you ever want to just take a car and not be on foot? <laughs> <laughs> no, you need gas for that. We don't have gas. This gas can't shut up. How do you parkour in a car, though? I mean, have you really thought this through? That's well... True. You didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I didn't think about carcore. Hardcore, <laughs> carcore, parkour. Um, I must be tired. Saturday. My mind is wandering. So when this guy's mind wanders, he he hallucinates severely. <laughs> He's like, the I'm doors tired. Open for him. <laughs> People are dying, and they're not really there, but I'm tired. That's what happens, I guess. Oh, that looks safe. Ah! Ah! 
Well, it was almost okay. <laughs> it was almost okay. The zombies are like, all right, man, another pit. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Maybe that's all they're trying to do, and we just keep putting bridges up. Jump! That was wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Now everyone's happy. The zombies got their pit, and you got to live. That's part of what always makes me feel like... It'd be pretty unlikely for a zombie threat to get to a critical, credible level. <laughs> because, because they're really dumb. They're just as self-destructive as they are dangerous. <laughs> but they're really—they're much harder to kill. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, if even if all it did was break its legs down there, it's still not gonna bite anyone unless the person's stupid. Well, I mean, like, the thing is, like, you're never expecting a zombie apocalypse until it happens, right? Yeah, I know. Like, like so you're just like but wandering the time, through the grass, and some like hand shoots up, and like, hey, look, chicken. <laughs> But at the same time, like, I'm not expecting to be attacked by a homeless guy, but if a homeless guy attacked me, I probably wouldn't just let it happen. I guess that's true, but I mean, like, it's easier to defend against a homeless guy, because he can just bite you, and all you have to get is a rabies shot. Shit, it's like a zombie bites you, and you're fucked. Except that, like, if you're homeless, homeless guy can, like, plan his attack. If you're homeless, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you don't have rabies. <laughs> but could you please explain how you're I listening like, to this? I really like that we're comparing homeless people <laughs> to zombies. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> they're they're kind of the same. Look <laughs> at their character. I mean, they're like, they're sort of like wanderers that society has forgotten. There are a lot of things that are similar <laughs> between them. That zombie's just like, oh shit. But he's okay. I don't want to jump in here, I want to jump on here. There we go. Damn stupid shadows. <laughs> he just doesn't like shadows. No, he doesn't. This guy would not enjoy the game in contrast. <laughs> can hear something. Like, half that game sucked, but the rest of it was pretty good. <laughs> we should totally make him play anti-chamber. <laughs> I don't know if there are shit. Oh, here's the evil government. So the zombie didn't hang himself. Hey, this was murder. What lasts longer? Bricklayer's house or carpenter's house? I remember when I was a kid. I'm not sure if it was um, Night of the Living Dead or the original Dawn of the Dead. But at the end of one of the movies, there's like a bunch of like hillbillies hanging zombies <laughs> and like shooting them and like having target practice. And I don't know why, but it was the only part of that movie when I was a kid that actually like scared me. I just thought it was like the most screwed up thing. And I was like, I am never watching this again. <laughs> no, it is pretty fucked up if you think about it. It's us becoming worse than them, because we're aware of the fact that we're doing it. Yeah, hey, like, what's up? I think the guy only had two bullets and missed with both. Yeah. <laughs> the guy was- the zombie was totally occupied too, but I guess like if I saw you getting eaten beside me, I'd have trouble shooting the guy in the head. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Depends if you what ate my waffles need? that morning. Keeping an eye on the survivors. <laughs> just like, finally. <laughs> <Just, laughs> fucking asshole! I've been waiting all day for a zombie to eat him. Which, I mean, should tell you a lot about the world we were living in at the time, right? The new law. They mark their kills. That's some kind of. Alright, so now we have a world so government that we have to deal with. Uh, but before we get to that, we should probably light up this segment and give Squid his inaugural run. Sounds like a plan. Isn't it just, though? <laughs> Alright, I'm Trivial Punk. This has been Boston with it. And this is Squid. And we'll see you on the other side.